Algebra 2 Cram, New York State Algebra 2 Regions, Common Core Exponents. Question 2, Negative Rational Exponent. Inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order your personalized study packages. Review Question 2, Negative Rational Exponent. The expression b to the negative 3 over 2, where the base b is greater than 0, is equivalent to 1, 1 over the cube root of b raised to 2, 2, 1 over the square root of b raised to 3, 3, negative square root of b raised to 3, or 4, the cube root of b squared. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so in order, the first thing that we're gonna do is get rid of the negative sign in the exponent. And what you have to recall is that every um, number has an implicit one beneath it. So technically every integer, number, variable, whatever is a fraction, okay? Thus, in order to get rid of this negative sign, we have to basically take the reciprocal of the base. All right, so here goes this concept illustrated. If we have a base x raised to the negative a, um, the equivalent of that is going to be one over x raised to the a. And we still proceed in the denominator to analyze the exponential expression, okay? All right, and I can tell you um, in advance that there's a few errors. Actually, no. That was like on another cram session. This, this uh, one should be good. Okay. All right, so getting back on track. Um, now we have to take a look at the fraction in the exponent. The fra a fraction in the exponent basically means that you're going to have a radical, okay? And the numerator of the fraction will be, remain the exponent. You know, you're gonna raise x to the a, but the b indicates the index of the radical. And just in case you're not familiar with this terminology, let's illustrate it. So here, the numerator remains the exponent of the base, and b becomes the index of the radical, okay? And remember that if um, b is equivalent to two, you don't have to write this. It's already implicit with the radical written by itself without a numerical index, okay? You see here, we have that example. This is a square root, and this is also a square root, where the two index, or the index of two rather, doesn't have to be written. All right, so let's go ahead and apply this concept um, to our overall expression. Oh yeah, this is also an equivalent expression where you can analyze the index of the radical and factor out the exponent. And the reason why this format is important is because sometimes if you analyze the base first, if you have a relatively large base, the numbers might get too big. But when you do it in this way, it's more manageable to um, analyze a radical and then raise the result to the power a, well, to the exponent a. The power is actually the result of an exponential expression, although some people erroneously use the term power and exponent interchangeably. That's actually a misnomer. So you have base b raised to the negative two over three. We're going to take the inverse of the base, remembering that the base is an actual fraction. Um, therefore, this is going to become 1 over b raised to the 3 over 2. But what I need you to understand is that this is actually wrong too. The 3 over 2 just applies to the denominator and not to the numerator. Okay, so this 3 over 2 should actually be written in the denominator. All right. And so, yeah, this is what um, is actually correct. 
the correct formatting, all right? Or you know what, it doesn't really matter because regardless of the power, one raised to anything is just going to be one. So technically this is not incorrect. And then um, again, when we apply the concept of the numerator being the exponent and the denominator being the ra uh, index of the radical, we end up with the square root of b raised to the third, which could also have been expressed as the square root of b to the third with the three written directly on the base. But remember, this format is better for practical purposes of keeping the numbers relatively low, all right, as opposed to what they could be. And obviously, we see here that the correct answer choice is answer choice two. So thanks for tuning in and good luck studying.